nice to meet you. What a terrifying film. Definitely the stuff that nightmares are made of. So uh, well done. And thank, thank you. Thank you as well, because I love that. Thank <laughs> That's you. That's why I love horror movies. Um, can I first ask you, um, do you remember watching the first, um, well, The Omen of 1976 for the first time? What did you think? Oh, yeah, it was, I was seven. And so um, my mom was showing me all sorts of 70s horror. Um, and I'm, I'm actually so grateful to her because being introduced to horror at a young age, you're not watching it through the, the lens of genre. You're, you're just watching people. And I just thought I was, you know, watching just daily life of Gregory Peck and Lee Remick. <laughs> and so that I think horror hits so much harder that way when you aren't, you aren't just waiting for horrible things to happen to people. You fall in love with the people first. Um, so that was a fun way to be introduced to the franchise. <laughs> Yeah, and also to to understand the character-driven uh, films, which is the first omen I feel is also very character-driven. Um, but it feels like a like an absolute tribute to the '76 uh, film. But where do you find the balance between it being a tribute, but also putting your own voice to it? Yeah, well, thanks for asking that because it it was something that we talked about over and over and over again throughout the process because I think that because The Omen is such a sacred film for a lot of people. It's very, you you don't want to retread or, or try and mimic. And also it's just, I think, a perfect movie. You know, my I cannot recreate that movie. It's not in my capabilities. Um, and so it was important to all of us to make something new and have something that had a, a different vision and a different message, but also was in conversation with the 1976 film and I think that you know there there's a there's a lot of dialogue back and forth that we wanted to have it, well it's you succeeded Thank you. <laughs> like I said you know I really really enjoyed it and you actually filmed in Rome I yeah. mean do you think that was uh, that actually added to the whole Roman Catholic religion vibe of the film and also um, there's the whole urban myths about things happening on the set of horror films yeah. um, can you maybe talk a little bit about filming in Rome? Yeah, I, I don't know if this movie would be the same if we hadn't shot in Rome because it was such a beautiful petri dish for a horror film. Like Rome is such a beautiful, sensual city to be in. And so for, for Nell playing a young novitiate, I think that, um, you know, it's, it's very confronting for her character. And to actually be living that in the city, I think, is so important. But then also the church is, is um, everywhere in Rome, you know? So you do feel this force kind of looming over you um, constantly. And it does, when you're making a film about the Antichrist in Rome, you do become a bit paranoid, <laughs> which, <laughs> which I think just helps to the whole aura of everything. <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely. I can totally imagine that. And I love that. Um, how do you control people who, who no longer believe you create something to fear? You know, that's yeah. such a, yeah, such an amazing, uh, amazing line. Thank and um, talk about Nell. How, how, how happy were you with, with her as Margaret? Well, I could talk about Nell for days because N Nell made Margaret, like I, I understood who Margaret was once we met Nell. And she was, what's so beautiful about Nell is that she can be such a kind, beautiful, compassionate person and then, in, and then completely turn into an animal, like this complete feral, fearless animal. And she can, she can do that switch on the, you know, the turn of a dime. And it's, um, it's a very powerful thing to watch. And you know, there was a lot of, um, I trusted her so deeply and she was such a huge partner on all of this. She was such a beautiful collaborator. And like even the, um, you know, we have an homage to possession in this film and that's, she shot that her, her second week, you know, she did that in front of a crew that maybe she didn't know that well. And I don't know if the crew knew what kind of movie we were making. And then at 4 a.m., Nell did that and everybody knew, okay, this is the movie, you know? It was yeah. it was one of like the best moments of my life was seeing her do that. Yeah, definitely. Mind blowing. 